July 4th, just a few days away. City of Knoxville usually preparing right now for the festival on the 4th, but of course, because of COVID-19, those plans have now changed. Now, neighborhoods around the city taking care of most of the decorations this year, hosting the new Neighborhood Trails of Red, White, and Blue event. WAT6 on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford, heading out to some of those neighborhoods, showing us what their preparations for the 4th look like. Fourth and Gill is one of the neighborhoods participating in the neighborhoods trails of red, white and blue. Now, if you head out to any one of these neighborhoods today, you might not see too many houses actually decorated, but come this weekend, a lot more of them will be looking like this house behind me. We just, you know, have been going a little crazy here, but it's just plain fun. I, I'm really excited about this. Gil Frank lives in Northwest Hills, and she was the one volunteering her neighborhood to take part in the neighborhood trails of red, white, and blue. Frank saying she was not only excited to decorate her home, but just plain happy the city decided to host something since festival on the 4th was canceled. It's unfortunate we can't have the fireworks this year, so we've got to do something else and just show our patriotism and love of this country. Neighborhood trails of red, white, and blue, essentially a mini parade driving through six different neighborhoods around the city, starting near downtown before making the track west. The goal, homes are decked out in a patriotic theme. Judges will be part of the parade and will select their favorite decorations. You too can come see the red, white, and blue for yourself. It'll get people out of the house, so hopefully people want to, you know, just get out of their house, drive around. They don't have to worry about being exposed to anybody or anything like that. Just stay in the safety of their car. Each home offering something different for people to see. The Franks crafting many of their decorations by hand. Jessica Allen buying hers online. While not all homes have to take part, Frank hopes most of her neighborhood is red, white, and blue by Friday and cheering outside on Saturday. She also hopes many people come out to see their handiwork. And I want everybody to know there's going to be fire trucks and police cars and the mayor's coming by and a decorated parade. I mean, please come out and decorate and show the mayor that we love our neighborhood because we do. And there's a little more incentive for those who are living in these participating neighborhoods but haven't decorated their house or apartment just yet. There is a grand prize, a grill. Reporting in Knoxville, Kirsty Crawford, WATE6 on your side. All right, Kirsty, thank you very much. You know, the event technically starts Friday morning, but the parade of Knoxville officials, including Mayor India Kincannon, starts Saturday at 1 p.m.